couldn't bring myself to sleep in our bed alone. We lost him, Iris. When HR died, we had a funeral. Maybe we should give us all permission to grieve. What are we gonna bury, Dad? The empty suit in the lab? It's up to us to protect this city, because there is no one else. Just us trying to keep the city safe, we're barely getting it done. We need to bring Barry back. No. Barry told us to keep moving forward, not to save him. What is your deal? It's like you don't even want him back. Are you certain that Barry is even still alive? Iris, he's gotta be. You need to believe that there is an answer for every question. Barry's trying to send us a message, I know it. You got strength, baby girl. We just need a little faith. Let's bring our boy home. I tried to keep going. To keep running like you said. It's her! Please come back to me. You need to prepare yourselves. Barry? Bring the Flash. This guy's no joke. He said he wants to fight the Flash. I made you a new suit. You want to take it for a spin? What is good YouTube, Watch you here with another video on The Flash Season 4. So CW released another trailer for the forthcoming Flash Season 4, which starts in about three weeks, I think it is. So it's going to come around pretty fast. The trailer is a mix of the other trailers and teasers, and it also includes some new footage, which gives us some more context. But guys, remember, the trailers are very, very misleading especially when it comes to the cw shows i think in my opinion so the trailer starts with iris west saying i couldn't bring myself to sleep in our bed then joe west is like we lost him iris when hr died we had a funeral maybe he should get his own funeral basically and it's basically like the empathy is on iris not being able to deal with barry being missing and then it's pretty funny. Iris West is like, what are we going to do? Bury the empty suit in Star Labs. So she's finding life hard without Barry, which is very understandable. It all happened so sudden. But at the same time, guys, the whole world was going to be destroyed. Central City was being bashed with the lightning. So she didn't know he was going to leave her for the Speed Force. Uh, he didn't even know he was going until it really happened. So she can't even sleep in their bed, which you can see from the trailer. Looks like she's been sleeping on the sofa. I find it really odd, guys, because Iris thinks that Barry Allen is dead. But if we go back to season two during the Kevin Smith episode, Runaway with the Dinosaurs, she was the one that brought him back from the Speed Force. So she's his lightning rod. She must understand that speedsters don't die in the Speed Force. The Speed Force is where speedsters go when they're at their end, but they don't actually physically die. So it doesn't make any sense for the narrative that Iris West thinks Barry Allen's dead. So it's kind of a bit strange for me. So Cisco takes down Peekaboo, which is kind of cool because, but we all know from the BTS that she was coming back. Kid Flash and Vibe are struggling big time. But guys, this is very odd for me because real time barry's been in the speed force for six months time is linear so he's been gone for six months so surely they should be get her, getting better at being a dual duo of taking down other meta humans and also i find it kind of odd that kid flash hasn't really been any in any of the kind of trailers because we all know from the behind the scenes photos and information there's a lot going on with kid flash this season at least in the first couple of episodes so i think it's quite obvious that kid flash is going to play a massive part of the first trailer the first episode but CW for once are holding back on this because CW's got an issue of releasing basically the first episode. I mean, most people can patch together the kind of the premise of the whole episode before they've even aired the first episode, which is kind of weird that they're revealing so much. So Cisco's like, we need to bring him back. Iris says, no, no. Barry told us to keep moving, not to save him. Well, yes, he did say that. He said, keep moving forward. But it wasn't directly saying, don't try and get me back. And then Cisco's like, what's your deal? It's like you don't want him. And I was like, you assume that Barry's even alive. 
It's almost like she's angry at him for leaving her. I mean, yes, that does make sense. Obviously, they're engaged. But it was either stay there, let the world be destroyed, or go into the Speed Force, be a hero. But again, they're pulling on the empathy. You just assume he's still even alive. I mean, she helped him get out of the Speed Force. So I find this part of the trailer very kind of strange so barry's been trying to send messages to central city as strange things happen without throughout central city we see the coffee flying up like we've seen multiple times before originally i thought it was to do with barry kind of cisco getting a vibe but it's clear that it's effect from the speed force related to this message that cisco says i know he's sending a message so from the first trailer we did see the speed force bazooka which got re re-engineered with caitlin so that savitar barry tard could splice himself and you all know that it failed so in this trailer we see cisco with it and we see some kind of severe looking device which i can only assume guys i don't know if i'm true if it's correct let me know what you think it is that is speed force related to stabilize the speed force which most likely fails but it doesn't fail completely so because barry appears nowhere near them i think the device is either to get barry out of the speed force to stabilize it because if we go back to season three barry had to go in there to stabilize the speed force it had to have a speedster in there to stabilize the prison so this device could just be something that gets teleported or into the speed force to stabilize it so that barry allen can actually return or it could just simply be a pathway to unlock the speed force for Barry Allen. That's the best ideas that I can come up with, guys. Let me know in the comment box down below what you think it is. It's definitely got to stabilize something because Barry's been trying to send messages or he's been trying to get out and he's failed. So Cisco's created some severe looking device to stabilize the speed force. It's the best I can come up with, guys. So Barry appears naked, which we think is the first time we see Barry appear after the speed force. But guys, these trays are very misleading and we don't know if this is actually what's going on. But we did have the scene in the first trailer and it made it look like Barry Allen returned in the suit because we've got the image of Barry Allen looking at someone. Everyone seems to think it's Cisco, but it looks more like Iris West. I don't know, guys, which one do you think it is? But like I said at the start of the trailer, trailers are very misleading, especially when it comes to the CW. They've got to advertise these shows massively. I don't know why, because they've got millions of followers, so they don't really need to advertise as much as they do. And then we see the scene from the first trailer. We see Cecile leading Team Flash with Caitlin, with Kid Flash, and the rest of the team. And we do get a slightly different image footage in this clip. We see Barry Allen stand up with a beard, and we see what I can only decipher as speed the speed force writing the writing that he's writing on the walls it's like he's going insane he's i mean this code is going to be centric for the most half of the season um but at the same time i know a lot of people saying he's going to unlock massive the full potential that the flash has i don't think this is going to be the case guys we're only on the flash season four at the moment this show could easily go up to season eight if season nine season ten so i don't think he's going to become the ultimate version of barry i think when he does unlock whatever he's trying to unlock with his code or whatever he's trying to remember with the speed force i think he's just going to be the best version the fastest version that we had but at the same time they're not going to make him the ultimate fastest flash like they're not going to let him peak this early into the stories and then we get the samurai or samurai scene he says bring me the flash he wants to fight the flash cisco's like this is this guy is no joke he wants to fight the flash so i think this is going to be quite cool but this is why we're not seeing much of kid flash in the trailer because we know that kid flash jumps into barry allen's suit and that's why the suit gets destroyed hence the new suit but was the new suit made because the old suit gets broken or was the new suit made made because of the 2024 episode that tom kavanagh um aka harrison wells aka harry kind of uh, produced obviously his real name is tom kavanagh produced last season so is it a ramification of that or is it just he wanted to make a new suit so i'm really looking forward to this fight with samurai i'm really looking forward to seeing who's behind it or if we get like an unre a reveal is it i mean i don't think the thinker's going to be involved that soon because it wouldn't make much sense to the narrative to introduce the big bad this early and it's not the flash formula the flash literally have the same formula 
every season, but they've just changed it to a non-speedster currently for this season. And we get a new look at the suit. Well, we don't. We see the suit covered up, so there's some big epic reveal coming. And I really hope they don't reveal this moment in the trailers. I don't know what the kind of marketing team at The Flash are doing, but they're ritually revealing everything, like when they leaked the first episode title and then the whole account and everything got deleted. And when a leak happens, you know it's true. You know it's a true leak if a verified account gets taken down and gets like deactivated. So they just need to kind of stop revealing too much. I mean, it's cool for YouTubers and it's cool to talk about, but it really is ruining the show overall. So guys, please like, subscribe and comment. Let me know, did I get anything wrong? Did I miss anything? I, did, I didn't go over it as fine, cute, like with a fine comb like the other one because this trailer was a bit longer but i'm really interested in what is this like speed force sphere is it going to stabilize the speed force so barry doesn't have to be in the speed force i think that is the most likely option so guys let me know what you think about the trailer i know there are some extra pictures but i may do a different video about this but this video is already going to be quite long so i don't want to make it even longer than it already is so guys please like subscribe and comment if you want to that'll be awesome this channel is growing smoothly at the moment which i'm thankful for all my flash viewers i will be doing some giveaways during the season for the flash specifically once the season starts in a couple of weeks so that's going to be cool and uh, maybe join the notification squad guys if you want to, if you want to join that team with we'll stew uh the squad's always getting stronger i guess you could say yeah i don't take that seriously anyway guys i'll catch you in another video very soon catch ya later